We're going to use Excel to generate a Poisson distribution and also a histogram just to be able to see the sampling that occurred. Uh, this is just one example of some of the data analysis, particularly with statistics that we might be doing in Excel. So uh, if we have, for example, lambda equals 1, we're going to get a sampling of probability that uh, you know x equals k. Um, it looks like uh, this for lambda equals 1. If we go to lambda equals 10, then uh, it's going to look a little bit more like this blue line right here. Okay, but we want to be able to generate these in Excel. Uh, so the, the first thing that you need to do when you open up Excel is uh, just to make sure you have the uh, data analysis uh, toolbox enabled. Okay, the add-in enabled. Um, so what I'll do is come to File. Actually, let's go ahead and check first of all. If you go to Data, uh, Data Analysis should be right here underneath the Solver. Uh, you may not have Solver either, but this is under the Analysis tab right there. And you may have to do, uh, do the Add-in. So go to File, Options. Okay, let me just show that to you one more time. File, and then go down here to the bottom, Options and then select the add-ins okay then you select uh, manage um, we want to do the excel add-ins right there and click go and if you don't have the analysis toolbox selected go ahead and select that that's how you can get the solver one as well um, and then click ok and then when you go to data again you'll see a data analysis go ahead and select that um, what we want to do is um, you know, scroll down here. You can see some of the different uh, data analysis, statistical uh, functions that are in Excel. What we're going to do is generate a thousand numbers from a Poisson distribution with lambda equals one. Okay, so I'm going to select the Poisson distribution and number of variables. I'm just going to have one that determines the number of columns that you'll get from the data. And the number of random numbers, we'll do a thousand for our sampling. And we'll say that lambda equals one. So if you do 10, you're going to get something that's uh, more centered around 10. I'm going to do, um, you know, an output range. Okay. And to uh, 1,000. Okay. So this is going to be my output range. This is where I want to um, show the results. Okay, so I have this, uh, you know, it gave me these random numbers here that are according to the Poisson distribution. You can see an occasional three there. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see a four or a five. But, you know, you'd have to scroll through this list and maybe count them. So we want X, uh, Excel to be able to count these for us. And uh, what we'll do is create some bins. Um, you know, these are going to be bins where I'm going to be counting how frequently these numbers occur in this list and I'll just go up to five uh, first of all and then we'll do the frequency okay so we're going to select this range right here hold down the shift key or um, you know just go ahead and select it with your mouse if you uh, come up here to the top and um, hold the control key and push it up or down you'll go to the very end of that okay but if you come here and hold the shift key and then hit down a couple times you'll select that region as well okay so we're going to do equals and then we'll do frequency okay and then uh, the uh, data array so we'll select our uh, data hit control after you select a1 hit uh, control and shift and then down and that will select uh, the whole region of a thousand values and then the bins array okay so we're going to come up here to our bins again you can do control and shift and then down and that will be the bins that we want to be able to uh, count those numbers and then once you're done with this don't hit enter hit control shift enter and then it will fill in all of these values for the frequency okay so we see here that uh, we have uh, you know, a lot of zeros and ones, and some twos, and it tapers off uh, like this. Let's just go ahead and see if we got 
all of them, or there might have been a six in there as well. Okay, oh, there was a six in there as well because we only have uh, uh, 999. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add a new bin, which is six. Uh, delete this one. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can delete this. I'm going to copy this so it. Okay, I'll copy that so I don't have to. Okay, I can't change any part of the. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I know that. I'll cancel. So it's a little bit hard to delete these things sometimes. I'm just going to hit delete. And then I'll select this region again and do equals. And then my frequency. And in this case, I want to extend uh, this one down to C8 so I can drag. I can either put an 8 in there or I can, if I'm really careful. Ah, uh, no, that didn't work. Ah, very close. Um, I'll just change it right here. Okay, C8. Okay, and you can see that it selected all of those bins. And I still forgot to select this whole region. Okay, so I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so I need to select this whole region right here and then do equals my frequency and C8. Okay, and then hit Control Shift Enter. Whoa, okay, I'm missing one of these values somewhere in here. I thought I went down to a thousand. Count, I should have a thousand in here. Okay, I do have a thousand. Um, hmm, I don't know where my other one went. Maybe I have a seven in there. I hadn't thought about that. Let me check. Um, I'm going to go down just a little bit more and do seven or eight. Unlikely, but um, let's just check for that. Uh, actually, I could check. Let's see what the max is in here. Kind of curious now. Oh, I do have a seven. Wow. Okay. That's really nice. Um, so here's our frequency. I'm not going to do an eight. I'll just do a seven. I'll just put a one in there because I know that it's there. Okay, so here's my bins and my frequency. Now I can plot this. Um, insert, and then let's go to a bar chart. Okay, and then here is our, uh, you know, the frequency at which these, oh, I don't like this either. Let me take away the, um, somehow did not, I need to adjust this. Because I don't want these in there. The, uh, it thought that I wanted those as uh, a separate um, value. Let me just adjust this. Right click, select data, and get rid of bins. Okay, then go to frequency and edit that. And then I have a series name and series values. Okay, that's okay. And uh, let's see. Let's see if I can edit the uh, horizontal axis labels. Okay, and I'll have um, the bins be those instead of the default numbers. See, right now it's one through eight. It just said, what's my first one, second one? But now I want to do uh, zero to uh, seven. Okay, so there it is, the frequency of each of those. Um, and I can move this. Uh, it lets me click on it. Uh, it isn't letting me move that. There it goes. Okay, so I could move that up here, for example, and then you could extend this down just a little bit, give yourself a little bit more space. Okay, so this is our Poisson distribution uh, with lambda equals one. Let's go back to uh, this and just see. Okay, we have something that looks a whole lot like this this orange curve right here.